Okay guys, welcome back. We're going to continue in this series of scraping with a browser. In the first video we scraped a single profile. We took the person's name and the company that he worked for. Um, however, with the information that you learned from that video, you could scrape any of this, um, any of the information off the profile, um, the phone number, the address, you know, um, about the person, etc., etc. Then we moved on to scraping the actual directory, the listings of people. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so here, for example, the Los Angeles area. Um, there's a directory for the realtors this is on homes.com of course so i went to los angeles I, I think it might have been a different city in the um, demo for the previous video but any case what we learned was how to scrape all the realtors that were on the front page the their urls of their profiles now that's all well and good guys and that's fantastic we've made leaps and bounds however as you can see there's 9882 realtors in the Los Angeles area alone. So we need to be able to scrape not just the fir first page, but as many pages as we see fit. So we're going to learn um, a method to doing that now. Um, I want to show you something um, first. As you can see, um, if you hover your mouse over the what would be called the next button, um, there's there's different ways to scrape for different sites and like I've said in previous videos guys there's more than one way to skin a cat okay I'm showing you a particular method and as you go through the video series you're gonna learn different methods because with programming and building bots okay uh, there's always more than one way to do something and it depends on what site you're working with there's so many variables um, so I'm showing you um, one route to do um, this and then in um, other videos you'll learn different techniques which will um, increase your knowledge in bot building. Okay, so getting back to where we were, if you hover your mouse over um, what would be the next button or the next page button, you'll see the URL is homes.com forward slash real estate agents forward slash Los Angeles line CA forward slash and then P3. And you can see that here at the top in the URL too. Um, so the current URL is homes.com. You can see anyway, guys, real estate agents, Los Angeles. But the main thing I want you to look at is where it says P2. Okay, so if I press for the next page, it's going to say P3. So the only thing that's changing in this URL structure is the, the number here. So everything else is the same apart from the end digit. Okay, so we can use that to our, van our advantage when scraping this website. Okay, some sites just have a next button and all, all you need to do um, to continue scraping would be to click on the next button. But here we have a change and the change is just simply, it, it changes to um, the next, the next uh, number. So the next one would be P4, click on the 4 and it will just change the URL structure to page 4. So we know how homes.com works, so we're going to take that and use it to our advantage. So going over to Bass now, and another thing that we're going to learn now, guys, hold your breath, is nested loops. If you haven't seen the videos on loops and logic, I suggest you go and look at that. But if you can nail this, okay, scraping is going to become a whole lot easier. In fact, programming or um, building bots in general is going to become a whole lot easier. So really, um, I'll just say now as well, the actual uh, file for this, the script, so you can take a look yourself with Bass, is right underneath this video. So please don't worry if you don't get this the first time. So I've already made um, what we're going to learn in this lesson here. I've already uh, built the bot, so to speak. Um, however, I'm going to dissect it, okay, go by step by step, and then you can look at it yourself. Um, as I said, it's downloadable and you can look in Bass yourself. Okay, so the bot initializes and what I've done is made a, um, a variable. Okay, and I've called this variable page variable and I've just started off at one. And what this variable represents is the page number. And we're going to use what I said we can use to our, our advantage by just changing the, um, the P1, changing it to P2 for each new page. You'll see as we go along, guys. Then I've mastered the PNG. Your homework in the last video, you saw that it only took away the video ads. So you can mask other, other items, sorry, other file types. So you should have by now worked out how you can get rid of all images if you need to. 
um, leave comments on that <laughs> okay so then what I've done is I've made a while loop okay but before I get into that I want you to see something we've, I've done a while loop but then look we've got another type of loop here okay for, um, the for each loop so what this is called guys is a nested loop it's a loop with inside a inside a loop okay now you might be thinking what the hell is Dean talking about right now but it's all gonna become clear and once you nail this okay it's just gonna open up worlds for you okay um, I'm it's, I'm not saying this is the easiest way to scrape I'm, I'm just saying that I'm teaching you this way first because you're learning so much along the way such as nested loops okay so the first part of the nested loop is a while statement so it's saying while page variable or the number of page is not equal to five so basically until we get to page six okay do these actions which is visit the the uh, directory which is this page the Los, uh, Los Angeles um, directory page but see what I've done at the end guys I've put left the P and then I've put the variable page variable so whatever the variable is will go here and as you just saw previously we set the variable to one so that's gonna go to homes.com real estate agents Los Angeles forward slash P and then the variable to start with will be one and at the end of the loop we're gonna end um, we're gonna add to the variable um, an extra digit of one so then the variable becomes two so then when we go to the page again it will be P2 then P3 so I hope you see what I mean there guys we're gonna basically add to the page number and each time we've completed the loop and the scraped it will go to the next page number and you'll see that more clearly in a second so after that we start the loop as we've done before okay in the previous video it's gonna um, take all the details of the um, the URLs sorry the uh, URL attributes of <clears throat> excuse me of all the people that are on the the first page we've done that before that's all fantastic okay and then we're gonna write the URLs to um, to a file um, any file that you choose we've done that in the last video but once we have finished that loop okay um, we're gonna then increase the variable by one so then it becomes two and then guess what happens guys it goes straight back up to the start of the while loop and checks again so it's gonna run through it once which will be on page one and then it's gonna go back and check again so while page number is not equal to five so we know now it's at two do this again so then it's gonna load homes.com real estate agents but this time it's gonna load page two okay and it's gonna grab all the details again it's gonna grab all the URL links of the realtors and save them to um, the file and increase the variable again so it'll now be free and then it's gonna come back up here so what then it's gonna check what's the page variable number three so okay so it's less than five so it's gonna go again but this time when it loads what URL is it going to load? It's going to load the directory but page 3 because we're using the variable here. I hope that makes sense guys. I know it's hard to get your head around to start with. But um, download the template, take a look and it's going to make sense. I'm going to run it for you now as well. I'm going to do it step by step. Okay, so it's going to load. Remember the variable to start with is 1. So here we go, and you can see it's at page one. Let's wait for the page to load, guys. Okay, it's taking its time. As I say, guys, things like this are not easy to get your head around to start with. <clears throat> However, it becomes clearer the more you do this, it will just be second nature eventually. So then it's going to grab each of the attributes, the URLs for the profiles on every single one of this page. So it's nine of them. See how it's going in a loop for each. It's, then it's writing to it's writing the URL to the file. 
So we'll let that do nine. And then look what happens. So it's finished. It can't find any more profile URLs. Okay, so it's broke out of the loop. And its instruction now is to in increase the variable, the page variable, by one. Okay, and then it goes back up to the while loop. Okay, but now it's told to load the page P2. I hope that makes sense, guys. So it's a, it's a nested loop. So it's saying it's checking the page variable. It's go, it's loading the page. It's loading the uh, directory page um, based on what the page URL number is. It's grabbing all of the URLs of the profiles nine each time, and it's going to the next page, and then doing the same, and the next page, and the next page, and so on. And what we could do to make this um, bot a little bit better, we could make a resource. And then people could choose how many pages you want to scrape because, as I said, there's over 9,000 just for LA alone. Okay, guys? So, like I keep saying, I hope that makes sense. I'm going to leave this uh, the template um, underneath this video. Take a look, run through it, build it yourself. Um, if you've got questions, ask. Obviously, um, yeah, uh, I'll leave it there for now, guys. And I hope in the next video where we put this all all together it will be even more clearer so just to sum up guys we made a variable that's the page um, variable or the page that we want to go to we then um, made a, a while loop and said look while the, the variable page variable is under five do these actions which is load the page and what page to load it's the directory page okay the only difference is the p after the p or the page number it inserts the whatever the variable is which is called page variable so it starts off at one it runs through the loop then it's p2 and loads that page then page three it loads page four and so on and so forth okay guys <laughs> i hope it's starting to make sense to you have a go yourself okay and i'll see you in the next video